kiss him. Tell him you love him because sometimes you won't get a chance to do that. So do that for me, will you? Old woman down the Cape Breton one time, she went to the doctor. She said to the woman, give me a dozen condoms, will you? She said, what size do you want, dear? She said, what do you mean? She said, come small, medium, and large. She said, mix them up, dear. I'm going to a dance in Judic. <laughs> One time went down home, she went to the sex shop. She said the woman behind the counter, Do you sell vibrators here? <laughs> she said, Yes, dear, we do. She said, Tell me how to turn it off. <laughs> What's going on today? I had a big pit bull come up the other day, started to hump my leg. I said, get away from me, you. He went, arr, arr, arr. I said, okay, be as quick as you can. <laughs> I had to fake an orgasm and everything. <laughs> well, I meet strange people everywhere I go. I woke up my grocery the other day and I walked past the little lady in the grocery store. I said, excuse me, dear. Can you tell me to find the baked beans? She said, try the other side. I said, Excuse me, dear. <laughs> See, no fellow going on the road there, there's a big dog on a leash and a gun. I said, where are you going to dog? He said, I got to destroy him. I said, is dog mad? He said, not too happy about it. <laughs> oh, God. I was telling the people the other night, people down home are, are seem more open-minded for some reason. I remember one time down home, this... Uh, the fellow was having sex with his wife, and a little seven-year-old son poked his head through the door. And uh, the father saw the little boy and said to his mother, he said, uh, we should let little Billy come in and watch him make love. He's got to learn about sex sometime. <laughs> little Billy comes in and watch his parents make love like he would, eh? So he said to his father, Daddy, can I get on your back and have a ride too? <laughs> father said, sure you can, son. Climbs his father's back and making love to his wife. Mother starts moaning real bad. Little fellow wraps his arms around the father's neck and says, Hold on, Dad. This is what the time me and the milkman get bucked off. <laughs> and there's stuff that goes on. This guy gets hit by a car, right? And he's knocked down in the middle of the road and he's dying. His last breath, he's saying, Get me a priest. Get me a priest. So the policeman says, Are there any priest here? So this little Jewish man steps to the crowd and said, uh, Sir, I'm not a Catholic. Matter of fact, I'm Jewish. But I live behind a Catholic church in a ch parish hall, and I hear their eulogies. Maybe I could be some comfort to the man. He says, come on with me. Takes him over. The little Jewish guy bends over the guy dying on the ground. He goes, B-15. I-28. <laughs> this guy's in an old people's home, right? 85 years old, looking out the window. <laughs> so there's young girls out there in the garden, gardening, right? So she bends over to pick up the rake, and she's got no underwear on. Now it's... <laughs> the old fella gets his hands up, she's going... Come over and say, What's the matter, Mr. Smith? He says, The first time in 15 years I had a heart on me, hands are asleep. <laughs> this veterinarian gets a call at 3 o'clock in the morning. So the voice on the other phone says, You gotta help me. He said, What's the matter, dear? He said, My dogs are stuck together. He said, well, go and dig them up or whatever you got to do. She said, no, no. He said, they're stuck. They're locked together. He said, well, get a bucket of water and throw a bucket of water on them. She said, I tried that. It didn't work. Fred Neary looks at the watch. He says, you got another phone in the house? She said, yes, I do. He said, well, take the extension phone, put it open by the dogs, and dial the number. She said, will that free them? Separate them? He said, did me and the wife when you phoned.
You got a picture in your mind. Oh, God. We've been having a lot of fun this year. We've seen a lot of neat places. We were up to Inuvik, played on the Hibernia oil rig on New Year's Eve. I was over to Germany, closed German forces bases over there. But the worst part about traveling is hotel rooms. Anybody here from St. John, New Brunswick? Nice town. Nice when you get it finished. And Sudbury's nice too. You don't get suntan there, you get rust. Seagulls fly upside down over Sudbury. You know why? There's nothing worth shitting on. <laughs> But the worst part about traveling is hotel rooms. I stayed in a place one time called a flea pit. <laughs> Up and knocked the door and a woman comes and said, how much cost to stay here? She said, 25 bucks. I said, I pay that with pleasure. So with pleasure, it's 45. <laughs> <laughs> and she said to me, she said, do you mind making your own bed? I said, no. She said, the hammer nails over there in the corner. <laughs> Freaking dumb boy. I called the front desk when I got to my room and she said, what's eating you now? I said, that's what I'd like to know. <laughs> And we traveled up to Thompson, Manitoba. I went to the liquor store, a lot of native people there. I was coming back from the liquor store and this native gentleman was hitchhiking. And I picked him up and he sat there and never said much. But he saw the 40 ouncer down between the seats. He said, where'd you get the 40 ouncer? I said, I got it from my mother-in-law. He said, good trade. <laughs> This truck driver's driving on the road and he sees this hippie type of fellow hitchhiking. This great big truck driver pulls him, pulls over and picks the hippie up. He sat there, so they're driving along, not saying nothing. So truck driver pulls out a great big 45 and sticks it right in the ear, right? He said, You drink, boy? He said, No, 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 sir. I don't drink, no. He said, Here, have a drink of Pappy Squeezins. He said, Sir, I don't drink. He said, Drink. Jeez, he took a big mo full of <laughs> the worst stuff I've ever tasted in my life. The old fellow said, isn't it though? Here, hold the gun on me while I have a drink. <laughs> oh, all the time trying to figure out things I don't understand. I lay in hotel rooms sometimes trying to figure it out. Like a... If you're traveling at the speed of light and you turn your headlights on, can you see them? Anyway, we shared some laughter here tonight, folks. I want you to take that laughter home with you. A very wise man once said, it was Einstein, believe it or not, there's two things he regretted before he died. One of them was he never kissed enough children, and the other was he never laughed enough. So live, laugh, and love. Have a great winter, a great Christmas, and a great life. Thank you so much for coming out. You've been fantastic. My daddy grew up by the ocean. Hard-working man was he, and just like his father before him, he made a living from the sea. He loved his fish and his home food, and sometimes he shot a sea scene. On Friday night, he'd get half tight, and here's what he'd say all together. I'm a newfie and right proud of it, a newfie I'll always will be, if you don't understand. Way that I talk, but it really don't matter to me. I'm a new pee and right proud of it. A new pee till I die. I'm a son of a son of a fisherman's son. I'm a new pee, right proud of it. Yeah.